Hello to my Capricorn. Capricorn, another bonus video was requested. All right, y'all liking these bonus videos. All right, I'm going to start putting some more videos over on the membership side, but here's another bonus video for you all. We are one day away. If you're watching this video on uh, August 31st, we are one day away from that last day before we enter into a whole new cycle, a whole new cycle on the 2nd of September. Yes, we're in September already. You go back and look at your journals. For those of you who have been with me for quite some time, we know you know that we have digital journals and calendars in the link below, um, or you can create your own. There's never any pressure to purchase anything, but you want to make sure you journal your journey um, and see how you've progressed this wealth. What, if, what did you become wealthier in this year? Did you become wealthier in knowledge of self, wealthier in material possession? Does your, your spirituality become wealthier? Like you really want to go back through and look at what you wrote, like what you wrote when you woke up at two, three o'clock in the morning and what you journaled. And then drifted back off to sleep or what you what feelings came to you in midday what did you become wealthier in what did you become wealthier in this year so far this is also a year that karmic uh eight is the karmic number karma is not good or bad it just is but if you feel like you've been caught in some kind of a negative cycle you should be really doubling down and really seriously analyzing everything are you attached to anyone else's drama that is preventing you from living your absolute best life. We have a new moon in Virgo and Virgo, a moon in Virgo. We're not talking about any Virgos that you know, but a moon in Virgo will help you to see, are you attached to anyone else's drama? No matter how subtle it is, what Source is trying to help you all do is show you in this cycle that we're in, that's about to close out, something about you so rare, it comes along once in a blue moon. And it's not just the physical appearance, Capricorn. It would never be just the physical appearance. Something about your spirit only comes along once in a blue moon. Why are so many people around you trying to get you so hard to work through all of these emotions when really you all are the hardest working sign in the zodiac? Let's get into it. Let's get right into it. Let's get into it. Capricorns, let's get into it. Thank you for your comments. Yeah, you're still dealing with some energies who are wolves in sheep's clothing that you still have not left behind. You still have not left behind, um, Capricorn. And so um, somebody is still waiting for masks to fall off faces. These are energies who basically have never believed you. Here's the moon card right find out what your moon sign is so if you're new to my channel welcome if you're coming back welcome back you're gonna feel a lot more sunnier a lot more joyful a lot more successful i need y'all to start looking at your journals please start looking at your journal so that you can start saying okay i don't care if it's you know december 31st i feel like this is my wealthiest year yet if you want to unclog your own blockages don't be robotic. Please pull your birth chart, find out what your moon sign is because that water, the moon has an affinity with water. So when you feel like, okay, you're feeling sad, your emotions are feeling low, you feel like you're caught in the middle of something, or you just you can't see it. Like you just, it's like, like can't see something. Go all the way back to between the ages of Eight years old and 14 as it relates to this. Because this is the first card that came out. Moon is the Pisces. This is like this is card for Pisces. And go back to any energies that you told something and they did not believe you. Go back in the recesses of your mind. They are still connected to your life today. You will be cutting them off. If they didn't believe you, you told them something happened to you or anything and they did not believe you you will be cutting them off because those are the those are the beginning of some kind of blockages and people's believing in themselves and their dreams there's some kind of the the between that sacral chakra energy that's water sexuality sensuality that's creativity that is if even if you said you know when i grow up i want to do so and so and somebody's like oh why would you want to do something like that? That's why it's important to know who your kids are around. Even if you are divorced and you have the other side of the family, you need to know who your kids are around because some of your own family members will talk your kids out of their dreams. 
when I grow up, I want to be a musician. When I grow up, I want to be a, a, a dancer or I want to be an artist. Or I want to be a, you know, whatever, attorney. Or if I want to be a doctor, I want to be a such and such. And they, or, or something happened to me and they don't believe you. That's the same spirit that won't believe in you and won't support you. Magician card. Trying to help y'all unblock these blockages here. Here we have the hangman. So yeah, there's some, there's some energies that are trying to empty you of believing in your initial dreams. Everybody has dreams when they're a kid. Everybody, when I grow up, I want to be such and such and such and such. Somebody talk is trying to talk someone out of the dreams that you had growing up. Here's the um, Wheel of Fortune. Some unexpected events are going to happen um, that's going to give you a chance to start believing in yourself again. But Capricorn, I'm almost begging y'all at this point. Stop waiting for other people to believe in you. And get around some positive, high vibrating spirits that's going to help sharpen your gifts. No matter what it is, you say you want to be a fireman or firewoman when you grow up, and you can this if you're if you haven't met some kind of age limit or whatever, maybe it's something you can learn to create manuals, or maybe you can go volunteer with the fire station and see how you can help people to still live out your dreams. So start thanking source in advance. You're gonna to have to start speaking some things into existence. You're going to have to start speaking some things into existence and getting around some people. When, when you say family over everything as an adult, that means that you redefine family. Family and relatives are not the same. You can be blood related to people and they can show you that they still don't support your dreams. And a lot of times it'll come through your kids when they show they don't support your kids. That's the, that's the big wake up call that people, a lot of people get. Oh, they don't support my kids when I was support that. I thought we were related. So it's saying somebody better wake up. And if you don't have kids, those are the same ones who say, oh, yeah, when you start your business or you start believing in yourself, you start believing in your purpose, you start believing in your purpose. Because there's some energies around you that basically are telling you that you are delusional and other people are delusional. You're trying to dream too big. You're trying to get stuff. They're trying to make things harder for you all, Capricorn. They're draining your energy. They are wolves in sheep's clothing. These are loved ones. Cut them off. I can't. I, all. Well, I can't. I can't tell you what to do. But that's what I'm saying here in your cards. Take your power back. People, family members have put a dark spell on you. And see this infinity symbol right here. That's an infinite cycle of negativity. That's black magic. And that's that same black magic. If you have kids, they'll put it on your kids, and their kids will um, add it to your kids. You. <laughs> So, yeah, let's see what else we got. So, congratulations in advance for starting to speak some things into existence. The source is going to put you around some people that's going to help you to believe in your dreams again, right? And I'm, I'm going to get a little bit more, a little deeper here. A lot of your, um, your, I, um, your um, excuse me, your prayers are about to be answered too. Nine of Cups. Here we have the Seven of Cups, but you're going to have to physically leave a toxic environment. Physically leave a toxic environment. In order to, and if, if that means that you're terrified, teeth chattering, knees knocking, you know, and I'm not saying this to be funny because that is how, that is how scary it can be when you have been, when that poison has been fed to you that you shouldn't believe in yourself because you told somebody something and they didn't believe you. That is how serious somebody needs to be about breaking that generational cycle chain and curse. That is a curse. That is a curse that goes from generation to generation to generation to generation. Here we have the Knight of Pentacles, right? So you all have been working real hard in your mind to try to forget something. And no matter how painful it is, go back to that memory because you're going to have to first acknowledge something and then work at, okay, I need to get into therapy. I need to get into therapy. I don't have the support. I don't have people around me that's supporting me. And, and for me, family is everything. And I think a lot of people feel that way. I feel like a lot of people feel like family is everything for them. But y'all better start waking up and recognizing some of your family members don't have the same definition of family. Some of your relatives don't have the same definition of family. They are passing toxic cycles down from one generation to the next. Telling everybody that they're lying about stuff, that they're not... 
They won't support you. And they and sometimes it's real subtle. They'll make up a lot. Oh, I couldn't come to your grand opening because I had so much to do. Or I can't support your hair business. I don't do hair, by the way. So, you know, I'm just saying, like, I can't support your hair business, you know, because uh, I've been going to so-and-so for the longest time. And I really like that. They won't even try you out to see you. And somebody said, well, still making up excuses for fans. Your your definition of family is still caught between the ages of eight years old and fourteen years old. Instead of saying these are my relatives, but we don't relate to each other on that that frequency anymore. I know I would go support their business, but they wouldn't support mine. They I would support their kids, but they won't support mine. I would pray for their kids, but they have a reason for why they won't pray for mine. Who has a reason for why you won't pray for somebody and pray for their kids? Who, what kind of, well, we don't believe in the same thing. You watch tarot and that's dark. Every, listen, y'all learn a lot on this channel and I'm teaching you all because I want y'all to know the signs. I want you all to know the signs. So if you think it's dark, if you think tarot is dark, any darker than any of, tarot is considered as new age religion. Um... By some, by some, right? Here we have the justice card. Stop doing an injustice to yourself. Somebody is still connected to some energies. Somebody is still connected to some energies who they have experienced the same thing in your family, but y'all are both sitting there like, well, nobody believed, nobody believed me. So I guess, you know, I had to go through life working extra hard like in terms of your in terms of your high priestess gifts, in terms of your dreams, your downloads, you're creating your own blockages. It's like you're putting you keep putting you like living the same nightmare over and over and over again. Speaking of night, it's like you're living. I know it's spelled differently, but somebody's living the same nightmare over and over and over again, staying tied to traumatic stuff. They didn't believe me. So therefore, they don't, you know. You know, they don't believe in anything I do. So they do, they real subtle stuff. Well, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't want to support your creativity because this is what all this water is about. I don't want to support your creativity. I don't really, I don't think that's going to be a good, how, if either they support it or they don't. Either they support your creativity or they don't. You need to get around people who have been supportive of you since day one because whoever's not supporting you in your family, they're working from a different agenda. They're, they're tied to their demons, fear, doubt, uncertainty. Here's the temperance card. So, yeah, you have a guardian angel that's helping you to watch over, I mean, to help you with all of this mess. That's to help you to break these cycles, chains, and curses. That's right. Somebody's mother. The chariot card connects us with cancer, which is your polarity sign. Cancer is the mother and money sign of the zodiac. It's a very nurturing sign. Very, very nurturing sign, right? And so it's uh, for men and women. So you could have a, you know, a father who's a cancer mother or has cancer somewhere, maybe the moon sign, whatever. It could be their moon sign. Your mom could have her moon sign. It could be cancer or somewhere cancer. It doesn't have to be their sun sign. Just so we're crystal clear. You want to come out of this, does Capricorn, is, uh, you know, the sun sign get along? That's just one dimensional. You're going to have to pull a full birth chart when you talk about compatibility and matching up stuff. So, source is saying to you, you're going to be, you're actually being rewarded for physically, wherever your geographical location is, whether it's in a job, a city, a state, a country, a province, or whatever, physically leaving energies behind that are wolves in sheep's clothing. And thank you to those of you who have been putting comments on my videos about the, um, you know, uh, the last bonus video. Yeah. Somebody is going to help you to break... To cut ties with limited, abundance-minded people, scarcity mindset people. They don't want to support you when it comes to um, your belief systems because they basically are calling you a liar about something you shared with somebody and they didn't believe you. So basically they're calling you a liar because nobody believed or believed in them, Capricorn. They don't believe or believe in you. And they're showing you in very subtle ways. So what somebody's trying to do, when people are trying to uh, trying to get you to sacrifice, there's always a sacrifice for something, right? So no matter what you do, let's say you want to go to school, you may have to sacrifice talking to your friends or hanging out with your friends all the time, right? You're dealing with some wolves in sheep's clothing that's trying to remove the very essence of people who are going to support you. Come away from that family over everything unless 
they other people have the same definition of family that you do. I'm telling y'all, a lot of your relatives don't have the same definition of family that you do. They will make up every excuse not to support you, every excuse not to support you, and align with other people who are because somebody is trying to get you to cut your your nurturing your nurturers off. That's what somebody's trying to do. They're trying to limit your abundance. So all you do is depend on. So it's like people who are trying to mirror the very thing that feels best for you, that feels safest for you. I'm talking to men and women. Somebody is trying, it's two energies that are wearing a mask that are trying to mirror some energies. There's two types of energies that is trying to mirror you know, where you felt most safe is remember when the moon moves through cancer, because cancer is uh, ruled by the moon. That's when you start to remember geographical location when you felt safest, the um, the people you felt safest around, most nurtured around. Um, the uh, was it a park? Was it a was it a geographical location, a city, a state? Was it with someone when you were with people? Did you feel feel most nurtured? Were they were nurturing to other people in a healthy way around you? When you start going back through your childhood and start thinking, I had fun when I was with my cousins. I had fun when I was making smoothies. I had fun when we would go to the um, the um, the, um, the parks and stuff like that, carnival or whatever. But when I was here, I felt like I was rejected. Think, Capricorns. Think. Use your brains and think because those are the, that's where it started. That is where it's. So I'm trying to help somebody break generational cycles, chains, and curses. Source is trying to put you in sacred relationships where people will pour into you and help you to make money, help you to, if you say, well, I gotta, I, I can't just cut certain people off. Why not? You're an adult. If you're watching this channel, you're probably an adult. Somebody is trying to replace, somebody is trying to mirror, somebody is trying to mirror where you feel most safe. When you go back to those stages in your life where you felt most safe, somebody's trying to, people, two types of energies are trying to mirror that. And so, and because you're in a very toxic environment, somebody's in a very poisonous environment. It could be a lot of drinking around, somebody could be smoking stuff, somebody might be doing stuff that alters your moods, medication, whatever it is, you're in a very, somebody's in a very poisonous, that's what seven of cups usually is like a snake slithering away. Someone is in a very poisonous situation. But source is trying to remind you that people move away from poisonous situations and their life starts to, to take off and they start thriving. Here we have the four of swords. So source is going to tell you to get some rest so you can start downloading your dreams. Start paying attention. Here we have the five of wands. It's going to keep coming back like bait and switch. You know, like those demons keep rising up. Those, those memories keep rising up. And source is saying that's when you want to journal. Remember, this last um, this last phase is really about getting your rest. So that means you may have to sleep in a little longer if you can. If you're watching it on the weekend, you may have to sleep in a little longer. But get your rest because a lot of downloads are coming through. A lot of downloads are coming through. There's a movie called, um, there's, a, there's a new movie on Netflix that uh, Lee Daniels movie, The Deliverance. Excellent movie. And I said to myself, boy, oh boy, if that is not telling of a whole lot of families, if you watch the movie, because a mother was trying to tell a social worker about a spirit in the house, a particular spirit that had taken over, it takes over young children, right? Because those are the ones, it's like, okay, trying to, trying to take over those types of spirit, trying to take off youthful spirits, um, and that youngest spirit was ch uh, was controlling the other kids in the house. All kinds of strange, weird stuff. They would come up with all these marks on their body. I'm not going to tell you all the whole movie. All these things would happen. Nobody believed the mother. She kept saying, it's not me. It's, I, didn't do, I didn't do this. I didn't do this to these kids. Nobody believed it until they physically see stuff. Somebody has seen something on you that, that lets them know that something happened. Whether it's your toenail color, whether it's your the frown in your face, whether it's sadness, whether you just don't seem like yourself anymore, Capricorn. Somebody needs to, to you be you be cutting some ties for some energies. 
Because y'all, it's, somebody is working way too hard to get downloads, and you don't have to. And I'm telling you, you don't want to free yourself. So when I tell you thank you to those of you all who put those comments below about how you all, once you left certain environments, that life just took off for you. And when you cut certain people out of your life, things just started happening for you. Yeah. There's some energies that's trying to break you. What I say? Dark spell. Somebody is under dark spell. And spell work is just simply hearing they don't somebody don't believe you. You lying. Then sometimes in cases people will beat it into you. You know, basically when you're a kid, beat you. You just stop lying. That's not true. Why would you say something like that? Blah 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 blah. You don't even get a chance to even process your thoughts before it's even. You know, like I said before, that movie I think would be a good movie for people to watch. That's a lack of support some people have in their family. Their family don't believe anything they say. Because they're taken over by demons. That's something that's passed down from generation to generation to generation to generation. You all are going to be the ones that's going to break it. You're going, to be, you're going to be moving on from two energies that you just, just flat out disappointed in. They are hurt people who have never reached down to try to help you, Capricorn. All they did was drive the sword in even deeper. That's all they did. Make things work. More dark magic on top of dark magic. Trying to create this image around family. And talking about talking about everybody else's family like a dog. These are in your own family. Your own family. Wake up. So people are praying your strength right now. People are praying your strength. There's so many family secrets that go just dread like a recipe. Like, but it's a recipe for disaster. Go from one generation to the next. We don't talk about those. What goes on in the house stays in the house. And then to add insult to injury. People threaten their kids by saying, I brought you in this world and I'll take you out. If somebody's parents said that to a child today, they need to call the police. They need That's a threat. You brought somebody into this world. Your creator used the seed and, you know, the, um, and the egg to bring, to, to cre co-create. Just like, mm. so a lot of your wishes are being fulfilled. A lot of your wishes are being fulfilled. A lot of your wishes are being fulfilled. Yeah, so here we have the Eight of Swords here. So, like I said before, somebody still has on blindfolds. They don't want to see it when it comes to loved ones. They're still walking around with blindfolds on. But those, but you have loved ones that are operating in meekness. They're controlling that because they know you're in a wilderness situation trying to figure some things out, Capricorn. Y'all don't need to take any drink. If you be, if something has been causing you to drink or do something, you're in a toxic... So it's just saying, get away from people that mirror everybody else. All they do is copy everybody, dress alike. They saying the same slang sayings. They saying the same this and that. That is killing somebody. It's like a bunch of robots walking around. You try to do so, you're trying to create something different. Guess what happens? You get judged for it. You want to dress a little different. You want to put a little, you know, sparkle in whatever you're doing, pep in your step. People start judging you. You are in the wrong place as a creator. You're in the wrong geographical location to try to create the life that you want for yourself. People are trying to cut out the very essence. That's why y'all hear when certain artists, all of a sudden, they make it big. Who was sacrificed? Y'all better start paying attention. That's not just in music. That's just in general. Just people being sacrificed. They're basically like, you need to grow up and this is your family now. And we, we got to mirror everything. And you sitting somewhere sad. You know, people keeping you just, just drowning in misery. So, somebody will get it. Somebody will get it. Misery loves company. But you will eventually move on from some people. And hopefully it's this year. That's why I told you all in the previous video, like if you got people on your work, your job that's trying to, they miserable about you talking about how, you know, your wife and your husband, y'all have such a great relationship and they miserable. That's why you got to start learning how to keep your business to yourself. Or you have a great relationship with your mom. My mom's doing this for me or my dad's doing this for me. You got to learn how to keep things to yourself or your, um, you and you and your cousin, y'all are favorite, and people start giving you that vain and vengeful, and everything comes through. So they want to snatch everything from you that those energies are giving you. 
material possession. Somebody gives you a car. They take it. They somehow find a way to make you give something back. They give you cameras. They give you golf clubs. They give you they give you all of this stuff. And every time something comes up missing, disappear, people taking stuff from you because they think everything comes too easy for you. Or they come with, let's say you sitting down in a, because um, I'm seeing a lot of your wishes being fulfilled. But let's say um, you're, um, you, are, you are in the workplace and you think, I'm trying to get closer to my manager. We're trying to be a little bit more relatable, this kind of thing. And you're telling your manager, oh, yeah, my, my, I'm taking my, your husband or whatever. Or it could be white one woman, man, woman, whatever. I'm taking my wife or my husband on a surprise trip or vacation. Now, all of a sudden, they got all these extra projects for you to do. So now you gotta now you gotta not only compromise the deposit or money that you put down, but you also have to um, you also have to say, dang, you know, because you're ag you're agitated and irritated because that money that that this job this money like instead of somebody seeing what's happening here, and it's a group of energies. They have that same mentality. They keep you levels below. Even if you have friends that hire you, they won't put you in a nice position where you can survive and thrive and get your own this and that. They'll put you in a position that, okay, you're always dependent upon something. You can't really move around like you like. And they say you're, they're your friend. Nine of Wands. So you'll be coming through something real soon. You'll be looking back and going, I can't believe I didn't see certain things. A lot of times, and this is where you don't beat yourself up. A lot of times, none of us see those things because you don't see that it's a dark spell until you move away, until you cut energies off and get some fresh air and go, gosh, there was not a whole lot of growth there. See these little tiny things? There wasn't a whole lot of growth there. So something is ending. Something is ending permanently. Yep, you're learning how to save yourself. Moving on from disappointment. That's what you're doing. You're learning how to save yourself. And moving on in childlike faith. So please, since the moon card came out first, that's what the emphasis is on is this leading card, your moon sign. Please, please, please find out what your moon sign is. Go to, don't overcomplicate this, please, Capricorn. You don't need to know the time of birth. I put a whole birth chart series on the second channel. Um, and I said that before and somebody put a comment below. Well, you, you have to know your birth. I'm like, come on, I've been doing this for, so listen. <laughs> You really don't need to know the time of your birth. That's why when you go to pull your birth chart, there's a check box that says unknown time. That's the reason why. You know, so some like I said, some people are so afraid they create their own problems. They create their own. Won't just go with the flow. Just won't even look at stuff. It's right there in your face. You don't need to know your time of birth. That's for your Chiron. That's for your Ascendant. I did a whole birth chart series on the second channel. Because somebody is in a very toxic environment. And so it's just trying to teach you how to save yourself like other people have saved themselves. Here's a strength card. Somebody's in a lion's den. And people are trying not to send you back to a lion's den. Some, some people, they can't, they can't move on with their life unless they're taking other people with them. Save yourself. Get yourself situated. I'm talking about if you, if you have a family, you and your family. Get you and your family or just you by yourself. If you're single, just get you situated. Get you on some, some firm ground. Like, get your money flowing. Get your creativity flowing. Get your, Sometimes it takes years to do that. Get yourself together. Pour into you before you start thinking, I got to bring everybody up. No, you do not. Those same energies would not support you. They didn't believe you. They didn't believe in you. And they're telling you because they didn't believe other people and they don't believe in other people. Making it. They got every negative story about what somebody, what they think other people are doing because they don't have access to people's lives. So I'm trying to help you all to learn how to be above other people's judgment, but not necessarily judge other people that you don't know their backstory. You don't know their backstory. Yep, this is what you're moving towards. Financial independence, not financial dependence. Source has at least eight streams of income that somebody is blocking because they're in a toxic environment that is, they are around a bunch of energy vampires and they're copying everything that you do. So every time you want to put out something, guess what? They hurry up and copy it, make money from it. And you feel like, okay, now I don't feel, I don't, I can't, I guess I, you know, I have to move on to something else. So 
somebody just in real toxic environment that you will be leaving behind because you're going to start seeing other people who have done the same thing and they're thriving happier feeling much better here we have the six of um cups somebody these are the same people right here same people right this is how it was passed down generationally this is the same dog this is how it was passed down generationally some of your family members have never left their birth location did for generation and then to add insult to injury some of them will say oh yeah our family we got history we've been here for such and such gener amount of generations all these documentaries online that talk about the family secrets and people miserable and this one got a drinking problem and this one over here so and so those are the energies that's showing you that something's not right those are the inner, those are the ones that everybody's talking about. Well, let's just ship them down. So let's ship them somewhere like they're a box of cookies instead of helping people to flush out those demons, helping people. They rather talk about, oh, they've been drinking forever. They, they got a drinking partner. They got a, they got a drinking buddy. They got a, mm, mm, mm. yeah, we got to do better. We got to do better as a human race. So it's just trying to make a lot of your dreams come true. And more water cards come out here. More it lets me know about sexuality, sensuality, creativity, emotions, feelings, subconscious habits, moods. All of this stuff somebody needs to physically move. Physically move. Move out of your state. Move out of your country. Move out of your geographical location. Move, 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 move out of your job. Move out of a career. Move. Physically move. Get away from people who are just negative. Somebody will come up and say, well, I don't have the money to do it right now. And I'm really struggling. And I got to stay with negative family members. No, you do not. There's somebody that can help you to physically jump, step out on faith and say, here's some money to help you get started. That's all somebody needs is a, just a start. Get away from certain energies. Here we have the page of um page of swords. Page of swords. You got a lot of great ideas, but somebody feel like they're walking on eggshells. A lot of ideas. A lot of great ideas, but you feel like you're walking on eggshells, you're in the wrong location. That's all it takes is have. That's why some people, you know, when, when people's kids want to go off to college or whatever, they may say, Do we have any family members that live in such? That's a supportive per that's a supportive parent. We have any the first thing out of their mind is not to control their well, I don't know. I don't I'm not really sure. That's that's normal. You have some anxiety about it. But then the next thought should be, okay, I want to be a support. Do we have any family members that live such and such place? Can we connect? Can we collaborate? Can we work together? Some energies that's wearing masks don't want you to align with anybody that's going to help you, Capricorn. They'd rather replace that energy, completely get you to sacrifice that energy so that you're sitting somewhere being drained even more financially by them. Everybody sees you have at least eight streams of income. Somebody is so talented and gifted, it's not even funny. And people around you are trying to benefit from it. I guarantee you, there's somebody that loves you that does not want to dime from you. And I saw, it, I saw it in a previous video. They just want you to just pour back into yourself. But in that pouring back into yourself, you're going to have to learn how to cut some people off. It's a whole mindset. It's, it's a mindset. You're going to feel like you hit the jackpot. There it is. You're going to feel like you hit the jackpot. Because at first, somebody will be lamenting. Once you save yourself, first you're lamenting. Because that's normal. You lament the past. You just say, okay, gosh... You know, I wish I could have brought certain people along with me. You go through that process of just lamenting. But then you're going to realize it is in a geographical location where you are. That people would be rather keep you drunk, medicated up. Then, and that's all of the sad, depressed. And, and that's all in the sacral chakra energy. Instead of you flushing your water out with pure water, listening to water sounds at night drinking more water, exercising, being in a healthier state of mind, your mental health, you feel supported. There's some people who don't want to collaborate with people that's going to see you do good. So you're going to have to say, okay, you know what? I'm going to have to muster the strength that I have to get out of this lion's den of judgment. Here come another card. Lion, lion, lion. A bunch of liars around somebody. That's right. I know it's a play on words, L-I-O-N, which is a, uh, a apex predator, but also L-Y-I-N-G. Bunch of lying spirits around you. A 
who are trying to replace other people who genuinely, when you go back between those ages, where you felt most safest. If those people are still alive, that is where you need to be. They weren't asking a dime for you because that's that's probably who you're connected with that also has that same has those same experiences. Being in a lion's den around people who are not supportive and then you see them thrive once they get away from the get out of that lion's den. I'm not a reader or a healer that is about sending people back into a lion's den at all. This, if that's what you like, keep going back into abusive situation. That's just not that's not the channel for you. It's not. I can just flat out tell you that. You keep like, well, I'm not sure. I gotta get closure. Close it out yourself. <laughs> like close it out yourself. Why would you go back to liars to close out something? Like and think you're gonna get the truth. These are these are people who will convince you that they've been these are some friends who will convince you, you know, oh I've been we've been friends for years. They haven't shown one iota of being a friend to you, not by your definition where you're going. All they all they have to say for it is I've been your day one. But keeping you in a lion's den situation, everybody keeps trying to tell you that's not your friend. But we've been knowing each other for long. You don't know what we went through together. Take the sacred part of which I went through together, the laughs, the jokes and all that. Put it up against how many times they didn't support you. I guarantee you that list is longer. Your ancestors are very proud of you, but trust your first mind. Treat yourselves to a spa day. So treat yourselves to a spa day if you can afford to, or if you got somebody that you can get money from that's not asking for the money back and saying, here, here's some money to go to the spa. Treat yourselves to a spa day. You have the gift of precognition as for knowledge. Make, a, make room for a new blessing. The spy is now turned on. That's what I'm talking about. Somebody is around Leviathan spirits. I can't I can't say it any if you're new to my channel, this is the first time you're listening to this. Um, but if you've been tuned into my channel for a while, this keeps coming out of your reading. Leviathan spirit. You are around energies that like to hang dirt over people's heads. They like to treat people like they're material possessions. And I don't know if somebody is waiting for somebody to come in with some Tims on and bust down somebody's door and snatch you up by your collar and say, come on and get up out of here. I don't know if somebody's waiting on that or, or you waiting for a friend to say, what is wrong? Why don't you see something? You know what I'm saying, Capricorn? Like, I'm not sure what y'all waiting on. Source has been, I mean, somebody, all this water right here lets me know that somebody is so multi-talented. So like, you are really seriously a triple threat. And Source is trying to have a healthy flow of things. And on top of that, financial independence. But you have got to work just as hard to get away from people as people have been working hard to get you to cut off your emotional support. Got you all twisted around and confused. Here, drink this, take that, keeping you depressed. Mm -mm. You can't be this gifted and talented and being real haters. You cannot. This is called a spade a spade. You cannot be around. You can't be this gifted and talented and be around haters. Because there's no there's no real support. That's why this, this card came out first with these energies wearing masks. Somebody's ex was on an assignment. Why would you go back to an ex who is aligning themselves with other people to drain you dry? It's you versus you. They've been trying to compete with you. They've been trying to keep people with your family, your mom, your dad, whoever you felt most nurtured by. That's who they're trying to mirror. And you got you all turned around and confused. Here, drink this. Let's have some more sex. Let's do this. Because all of that is in the sacral chakra energy. Somebody's under a dark spell. They're a succubus. That's a sex demon. You're under a spell. They are a druid, a kind of malevolent nocturnal spirit associated with nightmares. See, they won't come up front street and say something directly to somebody that you love. Because unless you sit in there, somebody has already told you, you're under a spell. This energy is too toxic to be around. And not only that, you may have called them out of their name and somebody may have told you, you need to apologize because they didn't see it at first. But they saw that spirit. They saw that spirit. They saw that spirit. Somebody knows how to say exactly something that's so piercing to you, it will cause you to question every single person around you. This is a type of spirit, I'm telling y'all, Capricorn, if it's somebody's ex, 
that'll sleep around on you and tell you that, well, we were on break. We weren't talking to each other at the time and then bring you back something, another demon to attach to you drinking, you know, well, why don't you try these kind of acts? Why don't you try this? Why don't you try that? Why they get pictures of you and then use it to hang it over your head. Third eye chakra cleanse, wake up. And if you have any kind of, you know, if you around other sex demons, meaning that people are patting you on the back, oh, it's nothing wrong with that. People sleep around all the time. This you're the prime, prime of your life. You should be doing X, Y, and Z. They are making it worse. One day somebody will look up, but not now because sources re, or is actually helping you. Something is going to happen. But source is really trying to help somebody to um, um, not, like I said, end up one day sitting on the opposing side of a courtroom where you having to pay all of this money out to somebody who has been playing you from day one, who has been on an assignment since day one. It's time to do a root chakra cleanse. Make a list of pros and cons. And it's time to heal your wounded self. This is find out what your Chiron is. So if you happen to know your time of birth, great. There's a, there's a link for Chiron below. Some people are in such toxic families. And it's, that does not mean you're just take what resonates with you. Some people are in such toxic families that the whole idea, since we got so much water out here, of being celibate, until they can just spiritually detox and say, okay, I need to identify every single demon I have. Is it a food demon? Is it a sex demon or demons? Is it a fear demon? Because I'm telling you, cutting that part off, and I know celibacy can be hard for somebody who can have a thriving life, but celibacy will cause people to say, I can look at every little thing. Am I? Do I have a... Um, do I have a, a spirit like, um, like, and think, did you see a lot of alcohol growing up? Whose house did you see a lot of alcohol around? Like start paying attention to your own childhood. Go look at and pay attention. All of that's in the sacral chakra energy. Did somebody suffer from depression? Did they have seizures? What was going on that somebody is like, okay, I don't understand why there's so many blockages. It's, yeah, it's easy to say, okay, well, let me go date somebody and see what's wrong with them. Look at yourself because source is trying to use you to break generational cycles, chains, and curses and come out of a lion's den unscathed, unapologetically. You know, that's what source is trying to help somebody to do. So... Not preaching to anybody at all. I just want somebody, I want y'all to win. I mean, for real, I just want, I want every Capricorn tuned into this channel to win. Somebody is way too gifted and talented to ever have any money problems. You are in the wrong area. You're in the wrong geographical area. And the very energy that you're around right now that should be helping you are hurting you the most. master manipulators but we don't we won't be around for long you never know you know somebody could die that's going that's the inevitable everybody's going to die but something how how can you help somebody you know with their medical bills or better chance at living if you can't get your money flowing right that's why i said somebody's going to get to solid ground and get some things flowing for yourself so that if there's loved ones who are getting up in age you can have you have the resources to help without looking for something in return. And some people are trying to get you to sacrifice because they, they see your gifts and talents and they want to exploit those gifts and talents. When you got other loved ones that don't want anything from you, they just want to see you thrive. And they all working together. Yeah. Somebody assigned that X to you. Somebody asked me in one of my readings, what are you who, who, on assignment from who? Come on now, Capricorns. The devil, that's who. Who else could be somebody being on assignment for? God or the devil? That's it. And whoever's on that frequency. So it could look like, the uh, you know, friends assigned. Somebody's like, oh, yeah, this one, they gifted and talented, but we need to keep all the money in the group. So, yeah, we, we want to make sure we exploit this one over here. Let's exploit Capricorn. So they all working together. They all working together. That's not for somebody to feel like, okay, I'm stupid. I didn't see that. No, you are not. Every single human being on this planet has gone through the same exact thing. 
why do you think there's some artists that have and when I say artists, I'm talking about you could be a chef. Okay, you could be a chef, you could be a hairstylist. You could you could sell hair. You know, you can have a you can be a barber. That's what I mean by artists, not necessarily musical artists. Why do you think there's so many artists who you would think they got all of these people around them that could have helped them and they didn't? Why where do you think that comes from? Where do you think that comes from? Everybody getting their piece of the cake while the artist is just depressed and sad, develop drinking problems, all kinds of other issues and stuff. And people are, we, we were there for you from the beginning. We, we, we all, we family, we did family, family would let somebody develop a dependency. What kind of family is somebody's going to wake up? You're doing an injustice to yourself. You're doing an injustice to yourself. Do you ever find out any of your friends that you dated took pictures of you while you all were intimate in any way, shape, form, or fashion? They're trying to use something over your head. You need to break up with them immediately. You need to break up with them immediately and contact the police. Or contact an attorney to see if what are your rights. You did not authorize them to take video or pictures or anything of you. You need to learn the law. That's why you got this. You need to learn the law. So if anything should pop up, you know exactly where it came from. You know exactly who was connected to what. What I say? Developing some kind of a dependency. Somebody's just in a very toxic environment. Very toxic environment. Two of Cups. So soulmate coming across your path. Soulmate could also be a family member. Love interest, whoever, soulmate, somebody who is not encouraging you to drink. As a matter of fact, they're telling you to stay out of the club, stop drinking, come off that medication. They're going, they will go to therapy with you, get you some help. They're probably even watching these videos right now trying to, again, trying to duplicate where you felt most safest. But I'm going to tell you, it, that always backfires because there's something about every human being that comes along once in a blue moon. That's every single human being. They can try to imitate where you felt most safest, but they will never be able to duplicate it. Just like people will never be able to duplicate your gifts and talents. Never. So it's time to heal your wounded self. There's a sun card. This is what you're around, clowns who are wearing a mask. They're living beyond their means and they're looking at you as a meal ticket. I can't say it any clearer than that. You got people around you that's looking at you like a meal ticket because they're waiting for a harvest to come in. And I'm telling you, you better pray. There are people who are praying right now, God, please don't let Capricorn's harvest come in. They're not trying to block your money until, until, until those masks fall from their faces. Until you see it. It may break your heart to see who it is. Here we have the Knight of Swords here. But there's a lot of people who see you're gifted and talented. And you, I mean, like somebody has a ridiculous amount of gifts and talents. It's your money, Capricorn. You don't owe anybody anything. You don't owe your, well, you know what? Because some people, I know somebody going to challenge this. You don't owe your parents anything. You really don't. Everybody is responsible for their own success. Why? And, and if you're a parent... Wouldn't you rather receive gifts from your kids because it's sincere, not under some kind of obligation or guilt? Wouldn't you rather say, you know what, I want to go to the store and get something for, you know, my loved ones because, man, they've been there for me. I, I would do anything. That's where you see some people like telling their testimonies on television. Yeah, this family member, they've been here with me for through everything. I saw the sacrifices that they made. Versus you got to make sure everybody's taken care of because that's what we do in the family. No, you do not. Break that, break that curse. Break that curse. That's a curse. Because it, it also goes along with the curse. It's how come, oh, so-and-so's kids, they went to such and such school and, you know, they did such and such. And they, they bought their parents a house. They bought their parents a car. They bought their parents or whatever. So there's going to be some energies that's going to make everything about them when you move on. But let them. Let them move on. Here's the um, star card. 
because everybody's a star in their own right. Everybody is a star in their own right. But right now, somebody is being manipulated. Somebody is being manipulated. Because even loved ones where, they, where you don't see it, Capricorn, they will say, even the ones that they feel like they may have been wrong by you, they'll just move on with their life. They'll just say, no problem at all. I did my best. I tried. Let me just move on. That's it. I, moved, I did my best. I tried. I'll move on. I'll move on. And let them move on. Let them move on in peace. People do things for you because they want to do things for you, not because they're going to hold it over your head later on. Twenty-two. I am aligned. So you are in possession of incredible creative powers, and it is it is assured that you can achieve anything that you wish. Yep. The same energies that's trying to get you to the the most nurturing person in your life is where a lot of those gifts came from. Okay. That was that's what people are trying to cut out of your life. The one that you felt most nurtured with in your life, and they're trying to replace them, like completely trying to erase that from your life so trying to get you to sacrifice that relationship and ultimately hope the person will just go away or people will just go away so it's the same if people move on let them move on just let them move on with their lives because they don't owe you anything any more than you owe them anything yep delusion intention without surrender can be a fast path to delusion yeah these are energies that's been telling they they're not gonna support you. You'll get mad at somebody that says, you know they're supposed to be supporting you. How come if they if they've made it, how come they're not helping you? Why wouldn't a person like like let's say, because let's say you create a business here. Let's say you create a business and you say, Okay, I'm gonna create a business, and you have family members that's like, Oh, I'm gonna support you, I'll be right there to support you with your business and so on and so forth. Um and they don't support you. And you tell them, I notice that every single time I want to start a business, I want to start a brand. Because that's what somebody's trying to make you feel like other people are delusional. For even wanting to be around support systems or even want to be supported. I welcome uplifting conversations into my life today. I'm so grateful for the love I receive each day. I'm willing to allow love to take space in my life. Y'all going to have to start listening to your first mind. If you ever was dating somebody and your first thought about them was that they were they were just a horrible person and a person who is um a person who is a compassionate person may say, "Well, you know, I try to get in the benefit of the doubt such and such and such and such." But you find yourself feeling like you keep going back into a lion's den. And it's just getting worse and worse and worse to put the fact that people don't even recognize you anymore. You're under a trance. You're under a trance. That's why you hear some artists on TV now. They're like, you know, that person never loved me. They never was there. They was never this. I dated this person. We got kids together. And they just, they never loved me. They just want what they could get from me. That's a hard, that's a, that's a big hard pill to swallow when you're sitting in court. Having to fork over child support payments and alimony and all of that stuff. Because somebody realized somebody never really loved them from the start. All they was in it for what they can get. The fame and the fortune. That's it. Everybody around them could have been saying... That's not that's not the person for you. That's not the person for you. That's not it. That's not it. Because somebody is trying to somebody is trying to convince you with your own. This is why I know somebody's under spell. Somebody's trying to convince you that somebody is delusional and crazy. The person that, because they dream bigger and now they're successful. That they are crazy. <laughs> they are crazy because they broke away from all of that shamanic wisdom. So I don't know who this video is for, you know, Capricorns. And again, thank you for the comments that you put below. But in order for you to see harvest, you're going to have to see that there's energies around you that's living above their means and making you pay for it. And some people are real slick with how they do it. They won't support exactly what you want to support. And another thing, too, that I was going to share with you is that if you got people around you 
being causing you, their spirit is causing you to be disrespectful to your support system. Something should click in somebody's mind. Like, why are you so mad at somebody who's supporting you? And that person is standing down. They're like, I'm not going to argue with you. I love you too much to even argue with because I see what you don't want to see. Well, what do you mean? I'm not under spell. Okay. I trust my inner wisdom to guide me. You all make the best decision for you all. You'll make the best decision for you because I'm telling you, people cross-watch videos. People cross-watch videos and they go right into counter. They go right into, oh, let me let me calm down. Let me let me let me tighten up my game because I see how gifted and talented Capricorn is. I feel like somebody literally is waiting for somebody to tell you this person, this person, this person, this person, you cannot trust them. And also to present a case to you, like write stuff down. They did this on this date, they did this on this date, they did this on this date. And somebody is still like, well, I'm, I don't, I don't really just, that just throws more confusion into the pot. So that's why some people cut people off. Some people just move on because they just say, you know what? Capricorn don't see it. I'll just pray to God. It's kind of one day Capricorn sees it. Each day I work on the appropriate task to push the needle forward. I am surrounded by peers who support, encourage, and inspire me to get to the next level. But somebody's ex was definitely on assignment, definitely on an assignment. And they put a hex on you. They put a spell on you. And people think it's all fun and games because you can't see demons until you can't sleep, until you're having nightmares, until you're sick, until you have blockages in your money. Because they are saying, they saying where, where some people are saying, God, please don't let their harvest come in because they can already see ahead of time. These people are going to take Capricorn for bad. They're going to take everything Capricorn has and then declare Capricorn crazy. That's how some people do. They'll declare you as crazy. They'll take power of attorney over you. Y'all need to start watching some of these attorneys online, how people declare people as mentally insane. And then now everything you make, you got to go to them for a check. Y'all, somebody better wake up. There's family members that do that all the time to young people. Like, who was is, who is saying this? Kanye West was saying it. I know a lot of people don't believe in what he was saying, but... He said out of his mouth that his mom was sacrificed and people still are like, not like he's, he had a list of name. He was like, these are his handlers. People were giving him this and that kind of this, all kinds of stuff. And people still think he was crazy. It happens in every single industry because that's the plan. That's why people are praying, please, God, thank you that Capricorn, the mass fall off of people, off of Capricorn's eyes so that Capricorn is see that's the same energies that cause other people crazy, that's trying to get you to sacrifice that and trying to mirror what true compassion feels like, will be the same ones that will declare you as crazy, take over power of attorney. And so every dime you make, you have to go to them to get a check. You are good enough. Somebody's Chiron could be in Virgo. You are good enough. You better than good enough. Like I'm telling you, somebody is so gifted and talented. I'm telling you, this is going to make some, like come around once in a blue moon. This is what is going to help somebody see you come. Something, somebody like you comes around once in a blue moon because somebody don't think they're good enough. And they're just being just poured into by toxins. And alliance then. You just need to be in the right environments away from the very energies that have you in survival mode. So flower crown. Yeah. So wear your power proudly and unapologetically for it is your birthright and it's eternal like the soul. Yep. Eternal like the soul. Every single person that has broken away from, and, and this young lady, she put this up on, um, Instagram. I don't remember what her Instagram page was. And y'all don't need to watch every little thing. You know, you guys, like, I, I need more. I need more. You <laughs> Look at your own family. That's the more you need to see. Look at your own family. Like everybody that has broken away from broken generational cycles, chains, and curses. And I'm glad this, if, I, if it pops up on there, I'll put it in another video because I'm sure I'll be able to find it on Instagram again. But she's basically saying, basically the, the, the curse breakers are always labeled as crazy. 
in every single family. They're labeled as the black sheep of the family. they labeled as crazy. Something's wrong with them. We don't do stuff like that in the family because they're so afraid that you're going to expose family secrets. And that's not even your intention to expose. You're just trying to create the life that you know you deserve. And that's it. They scared that you're going to break family secrets. You don't care about break. If y'all want to live a lie, go ahead and live a lie. <laughs> but for you, you're saying, I don't want to mask my pain. I don't want to try to keep up with the Joneses and try to live above my means. I can't travel and I'm robbing Peter to pay Paul. I guess that's the saying. I want my harvest to come in. I want to be financially independent and I want to align myself with people who are also financially independent. They not, they may not have the wealthiest this and they may not be able to go fly here and do that and so on and so forth. But guess what? They not they're not in the red every single month. So there's a lot of ways that people steal from people, and that's another way that people do it. They will declare you as crazy, and you got to go back to them to write a check for something that you're gifted and talented in. That's one way, child support, alimony, all kinds of ways. Somebody need to educate themselves on what some of these families, some of family members do to get their own money from you. Anybody that would put to what would do that to somebody instead of saying, you know what, we need to genuinely give our family members some help. That means that we got to all pull our money together. We ain't looking for the money back. We'll pull all our money together to make sure that they're in a loving and supportive environment. See, some of y'all family members will watch this video and all of a sudden they'll switch gears. But again, it's disingenuous because they should have been doing, that should have been something that they should have just wanted to do. But some people are not wired that way. Wake up, Capricorns. Stop just looking at the exterior. Well, I don't want to live in certain neighborhoods. I don't want to be around certain people. I just, you know, I just got to stay here under this poison until years just pass on by and you just say, okay, I'm just going to zombify out. 29, I'm insightful. You are highly intuitive and creative. Your mind thinks in pictures and you seem to draw information and ideas from out of the sky. A powerful drive to know the oneness of all things. Some people's family members don't want them to be successful. Y'all see the five heartbeats? Father said, I ain't such and such, so you're not going to be such and such. So no matter how far this young man went, traveled the world, and that's loosely based on a true story. The son never saw his value. Too busy trying to please somebody. So yeah, so don't do an injustice to yourself. Justice is in your favor. You know, you're going to feel you got some unexpected good news coming across your path. But it's time to break a dark spell that's been put on you. Yep. People have been challenging your mental health and making you feel bad about your sexuality, your mental health, your physical health, claiming it came from somebody else. When there's a name for every kind of ailment, mental and physical ailment, there's a name for everything. So... But those same energies, if you bring in big home, big home, big checks home and, and they can benefit from it, oh, you're not crazy at all. You just gifted in town, or they'll call you crazy behind your back while you're paying off their bills. Energy, I'm full of creative ideas. I'm alive and well. I am bold. I am healthy and I'm happy. I nourish my body with healthy foods. That's another thing about. This is going to be a kickoff. This this month is going to be a kickoff. We can start in Virgo, a moon in Virgo. Virgo is a very health conscious zodiac sign. So try it. Try intermittent fasting if your doctor says it's okay. Try limiting any alcohol intake if you're drinking. Try to if you're if there's a, and I'm talking about, I'm, I'm saying like okay as far as sexual practices we're not talking about husband wife or husband you know same sex couples or whatever. If y'all have a healthy situation, but really try to start looking at how healthy you are when you're away from certain types of spirits, how much better you feel, how much some people's lives just flow. Things just flow for them. I am bold. I'm healthy and I'm happy. I nourish my body with healthy foods. I hydrate my body with adequate water. My purpose is here and now. Today, I am blessed with an abundance of energy. 
Some people don't want you to connect with energies where you feel you feel nurtured. They'll tell you if you're a man, oh, you're a mama's boy, and you actually feel nurtured and you need the nurturing. Or if you're a woman, oh, you're a daddy's girl, or you need the nurturing. And instead of them saying, okay, I need to find out, I need to get to learn what Capricorn's moon sign is so I can help Capricorn. I'm not trying to be take the place of their mom or their dad or take the place of whoever you felt most nurtured with. I'm not trying to take their place. I can only do what I can do for Capricorn to help Capricorn. And that's it. But you got to know what it is first, Capricorn. You have to know what it is first. So that's what I'm seeing for you in your reading. Um, but something, you're making some decisions. You'll be, you'll be coming through a situation soon. And um, if you're asking when, only you have the answer to that. Only you know when. You're gonna have to make a, a different. You're gonna have to make a decision in your mind as soon as possible. I need to vet my thoughts. I need to sit down and really vet my thoughts. And I need to get out a sheet of paper and a pencil because I want to change something about my life. I got too much gifts. And I got all these great ideas coming through my mind, but nothing is really taking off the way I'm seeing other people's stuff take off for them. Things are not working the way. I think they should th work for me because you're in the wrong physical location. That's why you're in the wrong job, the wrong something, because you got too much. This is water right here. Also, I think your MC, if you pull your bird chart, will give you some ideas of like, you know, what areas you would flow best in. So pull your bird chart is there for a reason. That's what I have for you, Capricorns. You all may have another video. Well, sure, you have another video go up later on. But this is a bonus video if somebody's asking for Because I get a lot of these videos. I get a lot of text messages from you all about, um, you know, different situations, right? And so that's kind of where this was birthed from. It's just like just different situations. There are people, you got mirroring spirits around you that's trying to mirror where you felt and who you felt most safest with. But that's the key thing as we round out this reading. Who did you tell something that they did not believe you? They did not believe something. And basically it was oh something was overwhelming for you and they did not believe you. They didn't try to help you and they didn't believe you when you were younger. If they are still alive, those people need to be cut off. I can't say it any plain I can't say it any plainer or clearer than that because that is a curse that's being passed down. If you notice in the um if you watch the movie Deliverance, because at one point in the movie the the, the mother had asked, you know, do, 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 do my child need an exorcist? She's like, No, they need to be delivered from this demon. They need to be delivered. It's demons living in that child's body. Y'all have to watch the movie to see what I'm talking about. That's the cycle you need to break. That's the cycle you will be breaking this year. Somebody's going to break that cycle. I want to be accepted in a, I want to be accepted so bad that I will put up with anything. And you got family members that don't even have the same definition of family that you have. They're not trying to nurture you. They're just trying to, they're trying to extinguish anything they feel like rejected them. That nurtures you. They feel like everything comes too easy for you. So every time you physically get something that you feel okay is going to help you, you know, to feel better, they take it away or somehow it gets lost or it comes up missing. And everybody that gives you stuff, they like, well, what happened to so-and-so? I'm giving all this expensive gifts. What, what, ha what happened to it? Trying to help you to feel better. You know, not really knowing what's going on. And every time you turn around, it comes up missing. It's lost, taken, something happens. It's just gone. Like it just disappeared into thin air. This has been a long time. This right here has been a long time happening. This. That's why so much water in the cards. Because sacral chakras develop between the ages of 8 years old and 14. Somebody's water has just been toxic for a long time. And so it's trying to help you to flush all of that out. So that's what I have for you. So that you can see things clearly. See just how gifted and talented you are. And that you have been in a lion's den far too long and people are using other people to keep you stuck that's what i have for you capricorns i'll see you all in the next reading bye